Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Vince and on today's video we will be talking about how to connect Bluetooth audio devices to your Amazon Fire Stick. Let's hop right in. All right, so there's really two different reasons you would be wanting to connect Bluetooth audio to your Fire Stick. Number one would be headphones, something like these little AirPods. If you're wanting to be able to watch your TV or whatever device your Fire Stick is connected to and let it be quiet in the room but you still be able to hear it well, Connecting a Bluetooth headset will definitely take care of that for you. The second reason, and the reason I actually use mine, is I have Bluetooth speakers. So what my Fire Stick is actually connected to is really a monitor that doesn't have any onboard audio or any onboard speakers built in. And so what I've done is I've went out and bought some of these, the Z207 Logitech, it actually has Bluetooth enabled. So what this will do is these plug into my computer and will also switch over to Bluetooth if I'm utilizing the Fire Stick. So let me show you where to go on the Fire Stick to connect these things up. Okay, once you get onto the actual Fire Stick, you will see a list of options across the top. If you scroll all the way to the right, the final option is listed as settings. If once you're on settings, if you go down and you'll start going to the right once again, and you'll notice there's an image of a controller and this one is labeled as controllers and Bluetooth devices. If you select this option, it will now bring up another screen that lists Amazon Fire TV remotes, which is the one you're probably using to control this right now. You can go down to game controllers. This is where you would pair an Xbox or PlayStation controller if you were doing something like Steam Link here on this device. And lastly, you're going to find other Bluetooth devices. This option here is where you will go to pair headphones or speakers, whichever option you're looking for the audio devices. So select other Bluetooth devices. As you will see, I already have my speakers paired because I mentioned that's the setting that I'm already using here currently. But what I will do next is add my actual AirPods to pair them to the Fire Stick. So if you go down to select add Bluetooth devices and select that, it will now start searching for a new device to pair. So take your headset or your speakers, whichever one you're wanting to utilize and put them in a pairing mode. Once you've put them in the pairing mode, it should find them. And once it does, you will notice that it becomes a new item listed here on the list underneath add Bluetooth devices. So you see my AirPods are now recognized. They're listed as Vince's AirPods. I will just select onto them as well. And what it now will do is begin pairing this device to the Fire Stick. So what you'll see is now it has disconnected my Logi Z207 and it has actually connected my AirPods. The reason that it did that is it cannot have two different Bluetooth audio devices connected at the same time. So if you do have multiple options selected, you will have to choose one or another. This is also something useful to note is you cannot have two sets of Bluetooth headsets connected at the same time, only one pair per Fire Stick of the same type. So now that you see that my AirPods are officially connected, I can back out of the settings altogether, get back to the home screen and then begin watching anything I wish. If I want to switch back to my speakers at any given time, I can come back under the settings field, go under controllers and Bluetooth devices, back in the other Bluetooth devices, and I will now see both options here, and I can switch back to my Logi Z207, and what you will see is my headset, my AirPods will now be disconnected, and then once that's finalized, it will now connect back to my speakers. All right, and that's it. Hopefully this little short tutorial was helpful. If you have any other questions, please leave them down in the comment section below and I will do my very best to get to them as quickly as possible. As always guys, if you haven't, please smash that subscribe button. It definitely helps and be on the lookout for more content like this here on the channel. See you next time.